what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video it's gonna be interesting because I made a video on Quickshare about two years ago and right now it has stopped working on my PC and Quickshare of course needs both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and I think it also needs some kind of internet connection but I found an app which works flawlessly and it is actually a cross-platform app so you can use it between your Mac your PC like Windows PC your laptops and your Android phones and stuff and I think even if you are a Linux user, you can use this particular app. This is how versatile it is. And this I'm talking about is the local send app. And this is what I have been using for past couple of days. And finally, I thought I should make a video about it because a lot of people might face some issues with Quickshare because your PC might not have Bluetooth working properly some of the time. Yes, my PC is a beefed up one, like it has AC Wi-Fi and stuff, like 5 GHz Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth and stuff, but for some reason, somehow in Windows 11, like for about 6 months, I would say, Bluetooth just simply stopped working. Then I started using a dongle because I needed to use the quick share. And right now, even with that dongle, I cannot send the files right now for some reason with quick share from the PC to my phone. That is why I tried using this local send app. Let me actually show you how it works. And again, I'm reminding you the best part about this app is it just relies on Wi-Fi and you can just transfer files in local devices without even internet and it does not even need Bluetooth. That's how simple it is. And the speeds I would say is much better even from like even when compared to Quickshare. So let me show you how it works and how fast it is and stuff. And this is how the local send website actually looks like and I'll list it below in the description of course. Cool, you can just click on download and just notice the platforms it is available on. It is available on Windows, even Mac OS, even Linux, Android and even your iOS or iPhones. It is actually a cross-platform app and it just works with any OS pretty much out there. And for Windows, you can actually download it as a exe file like an installer and you can download a portable zip file. This is what I have been using on my laptop and you can just click on all releases to install previous builds I guess and there is also the Mac OS kind of installation option there is DMG file there is App Store of course and there is a Linux option as well you can download it as star dev app image and we have the Android option where you can get the APK I guess as you can see and there is the Google Play option there is the F Droid and even Amazon App Store it's there on and of course for iOS it's only on Apple Store so here I have opened the local send app on my laptop and on my phone as well I have opened it and just download it from Play Store of course and let me actually show you how you can use it. Of course it's cross platform so you can send it from phone to laptop and to other phones as well if you have them and here it only has Wi-Fi it doesn't even have a SIM card over here I hope you can notice that so yeah it only is connected to Wi-Fi and this is how the interface actually looks like of local send it has off it has favorites and it has on this is for the quick save kind of feature and you can select it to favorite so that your favorite devices if they send some file it will be automatically saved in the download folder on the phone and in the settings of it you can actually change the themes and stuff of it and it's actually free this is really really nice and we have the device name also you can change i have entered this name manually redmi k20 pro normally it is a different kind of name but yeah you need to restart if you change the names over here and this is of course my Redmi K20 Pro here and let me actually show you how to send the file and my laptop right now shows as Infinix laptop because that's what I named it and here on the phone I'll just go to send and here as you can see there is the receive and there is a send option and if you go into the send option as you can see there are the file selection option you can also share it with the Android share kind of protocol and this Infinix laptop actually shows up and I didn't actually add it on my favorites so I'll just do that so this is what it looks like it shows the ports and stuff i'll just confirm and right now this laptop is on my favorite list so i can go anytime in the favorites folder and it will show up the favorite devices right here and currently i'll select a file and from your file explorer let's assume i'm gonna select this evolution x rom file to send to my laptop i'll just click that and you can add multiple files of course but i'll just send this file this is 3 gb almost so I'll just select it to the Infinix laptop and just notice progress actually shows up on the laptop as well. So for a 3GB file, I would say it's fairly fast. So I can wait for the time being. And on the phone, you can actually click on advanced to get the advanced info. Right now it shows the speed it's sending at. Currently it's a little bit slow for some reason, but yeah, I've seen it doing faster. 
So once the file transfer is complete, it shows finished on the phone. Here in the laptop also it shows this local send kind of interface and the settings option just like the phone and also you can change the saved folder and stuff right here and there is the device name you can change it from right here and there are the other options like nearby devices you can search devices from right here and you can add it to the favorites of quotes from right here just like this and there's a manual sending and there is a favorites options and it shows two of my phones Poco 5 and the k20 pro and there is the send mode also you can have multiple recipients you can have share via link and you can have single recipient as well and here you can send files folders and even text or you can just send your clipboard copied stuff to your phone let's assume i'm gonna send this screenshot i'll just copy it over here and just over here i'm gonna select paste as you can see the file has come here and i can just send it to my k20 pro and as you can see it's already done the file is sent and i can open it right here So that is how you can use local send app on your phone, on your PC, on your laptop, on your Linux based PC and stuff. Versatile it is. That might be helpful for your workflows and stuff. So if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet, give this video a thumbs up. Hope you all having an amazing day and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.